Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. I frosted out my Easter coffee mug. Hip hop hooray. It's Sunday morning and I have a sinus infection. I'm on antibiotics. I've let it go too long with the allergies and all of that, but I will be on the mend soon. I have to stop being so stubborn. Okay, if you saw the title, this is a collective haul from Dollar General, Target, and Dollar Tree. Target Dollar Spot, mostly, and then Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree's been kind of eh lately, so I decided to try to go to Dollar General. Now, my Dollar Generals never have good stuff that I've ever found. I've been, you know, we have, hi Luna. We have, I have Sarah's dog, Luna. Sarah is my niece for everybody who I, is new. Um, yeah, so I went to the Dollar General, didn't find a lot of stuff. Hi, sweetheart. So, I got a few things. I'll show you what I picked up. And then I went to Target Dollar Spot for some very specific reasons, which we'll get into. The first thing I found at Dollar General was this sweet little gnome. I like her, she's cute. She was a dollar, totally adorable. Not big, but that's okay. It'll go really well in my tiered tray. So I picked that up. No, that's not yours. The dog thinks it's hers. No, no, that's not yours. Then I found, it's that time of year when I get my drink mixes, and I found Tang, just because this is like childhood for me. So I grabbed some Tang, zero sugar. I got Welch's grape juice. Again, zero sugar. And these all have six sticks to them. I remember when they used to have 10. I got some high C Mashin Mango Melon and Flashin' Fruit Punch. And then I grabbed two of the Starburst Cherry. I think that sounds delish. I pick them up when I see them and then they usually last me through the summertime. I drink a lot. I try to drink more water in the winter but I end up drinking more hot coffee and tea. In the summer, I'm pretty much, other than in the morning, I'm pretty much all about my drinks and I like having the drink mix. So I found that and then I found these two signs which I think are adorable. I love just this little bead of detail. And this just says, hello spring. So that'll stay in there even through Easter in my tiered tray. And it's in the shape of a tag and it was a dollar. Oh, and the drink mixes were all a dollar. And then I found this one that says happy Easter. I'm sad. I wish the bicycle maybe said spring so I could leave it out longer because you know, bicycling, but whatever. I love this as well. So I grabbed that for $1. Apparently I'm playing. And then I needed this. This was just, I needed it. It was $1.95. I'm not even sure if that's a good deal or not. At work, we just were given them. So I always had one in my desk, but I'm working at home now and I needed one. So it's just a um, correction tape. I don't normal. I don't need it necessarily for my work now that I'm home and not printing a lot, but I needed it for my planner. So there's that. And that's all I found. My Easter section literally was half an aisle half. That's it. Now it looks like they might be getting ready to put out some spring and summer at one of my Jeller Generals that I stopped at. So I'll check back later next week and see. Then I went to Target and boring, but I needed some Q-tips. So I picked up a 625 pack that needs to go upstairs. Boring stuff, but they did have something fun in the Target dollar spot. I found this, it's like raw ceramic. You can paint it and then I'm gonna seal it with my um, poly seal. I liked this, they're little trinket cups, I'm assuming, does it say what it is? Just says circle shape tray, but I'm gonna use it back to summer and drinks and cup sweating. I'm gonna seal it real well and use it as a coaster on my desk upstairs and my table down here. So I grabbed two and they had all different shapes. They had all different stuff. They had um, planters that you could paint and they also had the paint and I really liked this color. I feel like it's very boho, uh, but it's just acrylic paint. I probably could have got the same thing at Walmart for 50 cents, but I was at Target. So I'm gonna paint it, probably this just solid, this color, maybe two-tone, maybe we'll get crazy. And then I'll seal them up and have two new coasters that 
if my drink does sweat, it won't just run off, but it will capture the liquids. I picked up another pack of these. If you have electronics, cell phone, tablets, laptops, cameras, glasses, these are fantastic. For a dollar, I use them all the time. I have one in my computer bag, I have one in my desk, for travel, for whenever. I am, for, especially in the summer with the sunblock, touching the glasses and getting it on my lenses. This is fantastic. For $1, I keep picking them up because I'm afraid they're gonna stop selling them. And that would be bad. Sir, what are we doing? I have to yell at him sometimes. Come here. Thank you, Luna. He's scratching on my couch. Okay, anyway, sorry. Back to cleaning wipes. I love these. I have three or four packages on, on backup. Now they're hissing. Wipes. Um, I found in the dollar spot this sweet little house. It just says, hello, spring. With like the mossy green. Love it. Solid wood. I took the sticker off. It was $1. I like it. I'm hoping they come out with like maybe some different ones. I love these little signs in my tiered tray. Now, the other reason I was in there, my cousin Addie, hey girl, and her friend are going on a trip soon. And so I'm putting together some little things for them. So the first thing I picked up for the flight or their little travel bags, tissues. And I love the compact size of these. And you only get a 10 pack, but I like that it's nice and compact for them. So I grabbed one each. This one says focus on the positive. In the travel section, I found these little shout wipes. It's a four pack for $1. That's a fantastic deal and these work great. I use them frequently for coffee spilling. Then in the dollar spot, I found these bags. And if you hear that, this is like plastic coated, rubber coated. So this little pocket here, it, I would say is going to be moisture resistant. I'm not gonna give this a, a moisture proof because the front side is mesh. So if water or you spilled, it will definitely get down in here. But if something in this pocket was moist, it wouldn't get through. So you have one big pocket and then you have a little, like you can't see it pocket. And then this front one, is like mesh and I think it would be good for um, like electronics or something. But this is a great little carry-on bag for travel. Throw it in your backpack. So I grabbed two different bags. This is the two styles I saw at my Target. They may have more, I'm not sure, but this is what I picked up for the girls so they would have different. And then they had this neat little privacy pouch. It's for feminine hygiene product that you can slip in here, put this in your purse or your bag, and if you need to go to the bathroom, you can just carry this with you and it will have all of your supplies. It's just small and discreet for feminine and private essentials. I'm not going to open it because it's going to be a gift, but it looks like it's just a like a sleeve, like a book sleeve. It has like lipstick on the front. I'm not sure why I would need to keep my lipstick private, but Come here, Luna. You, you leave them alone. The cat, the dog. Um, this is what the little shout wipes look like. You can pull them apart. You open it up and dab it on your stain or something that you fear will stain. And yeah, it's perfect. So I grabbed those. At Aldi, I picked up just these little tiny berry scented hand sanitizers because it's one fluid ounce. And it smells good too. I think... Yeah, smells like berry. And I thought, perfect, it fits right in this little pouch. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. It's coconut butter lip balm, but it has SPF 15. And where they're going, they will need sunblock and lip protection. So I picked up, and I'm just starting to collect. They're not leaving for several months, but I saw these things, and you know, at the dollar spot at Target, things move pretty quickly. So I'll put together these little goodie bags for them and some other stuff. And when I see them closer to the trip, I will give it to them. And the rest of that stuff is mine. Okay, Dollar Tree. Not too bad, we're 10 minutes in. I'm trying to move. Oh, I got one more thing. 
I also grabbed for myself some sugar-free cough drops at Target. Part of the sinus thing is that my throat is sore. All right, let's get into the Dollar Tree haul. Nothing in any specific order other than these, again, were for the girls. And this is, I'm going to take it out because I'm going to give them each one. But the brand is Aqua Aquarelle Antibacterial Wipes. For hands and face, ideal for traveling, moisturizing, thick and soft cloths, fresh scent. And it's a tiny little pack. And they get 15 wipes. And honestly, there is vitamin E and aloe, but you can also use these on the plane to freshen up. But wipe down your trays, guys, and the hand rests and around your sea area because I don't think they... Now, with COVID, they may get cleaned a little better, but I used to travel with my previous job a lot and it was gross when I would wipe off when I would sit down. If I was going to use my tray for a longer flight, I would bring little wipes like these and wipe it down. And it was nasty. So just a little pack for them to keep in their bags to have. Maybe if they spill something, whatever. It's always nice just to have something in your seat to wipe up if you have an accident or a spill or your hands are gross before they bring you food. You can, you know, clean up. So I grabbed that. I picked up on the drink front fruit punch, orange and grape. These are the sun kissed and Hawaiian punch. I love these things guys. And these also are six, six in here. Hawaiian punch is eight bonus. So I grabbed those. That should be enough to get me through what I've been typically doing. I'm trying to drink more. So I have Gatorade bottles in my fridge that just have water. And then I add two because they're 32 ounces. So I add two packets and I keep them in my fridge. And then when I want to drink, I can just drink out of that or pour it in a cup, but it's always available. Um, back to my other theme for the girls. I grabbed them each a little notebook just to throw in their backpacks. They have a pretty long flight ahead of them and I thought this was so unique and cute. I'm gonna get them some pen, each a pen too. I'll write a little note to them. But I just thought this is fun and unique and they would appreciate that. And I think we're gonna teach them how to play a card game like Euchre or um, Rummy or something. So I grabbed one for each of them. They are going with a school trip, but they're going together. So I grabbed each of them a notebook to have. And then, like I said, I have pens. I'll throw a couple pens in there for them. We're on this, guys. I think that's it for the girls, but it's always hard to tell. I found something interesting I want to share with you. It's a different take on the face shield. So I've already opened it up, but I will open it again for you. So what it comes with is two shields and these glasses. Oh, I love it that there's glasses that you hook them onto. Now I have glasses on, but I am able to either put it over my regular glasses. You could probably put it behind if you didn't have bifocals, but I do. So it doesn't really affect my glasses. I can still see. If you didn't wear glasses, it would be better, but you can. And then it comes with two shields that you attach. Now, I was looking at this and I'm like, who wants to look through some dirty, foggy thing? They have it coated in plastic on both sides. So when you take that plastic protection off, it's perfectly clear. So, you know, I mean, I figured this is pretty nice. There's, I know they have the ones that go across your forehead with the foam I've seen at the Dollar Tree as well. I like that this is a little more compact and just a different take on the same protection. Um, it comes from China, so the English translation is definitely interesting. Um, one of them I read, it's windproof sand. Windproof sand. I don't know what that means, but you can figure it out. So I grabbed one of those to share. I throw this away. I'm creating a lot of trash during this haul. I picked up one more bag of this size kit and caboodle, kit and caboodle just to make sure my Wellington does truly like it because sometimes he fakes me out and he likes something for like a day and then doesn't. 
So I grabbed one more bag of this size and then I'll purchase the bigger size when we go through this. But I've been feeding them a lot more wet food, so I don't, I, they only get like a quarter to a half a cup of this in their bowl during the day to nibble on. But I did pick up another bag of that for them to try because if he's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. He's my senior cat and he's he needs calories. I don't care what he eats at this point, just eat, buddy. So. I found two of these. Well, I found more, but I picked up two of the Welcome in the brass. Guys, this is so boho to me. I have an idea, and I actually saw at Do Dollar Spot at Target, they had the metal ring without the word this exact size, and they just put some floral. And I think I'm gonna recreate that because I have all the other stuff. I just didn't have this. But also get some chunky yarn from there and hang yarn from the bottom. It would be so boho. I love it. And I love that it says welcome. And I know you, I can see here too, if you don't love that it says welcome, but you just want this ring, you can easily pop that welcome off easily and have just a brass, coppery, brass colored ring to do whatever you want with. So I grabbed two. I'm going to try to do a DIY. I grabbed one of these. I know they're not extra sturdy. I would definitely not put something like, I don't know, dirt in here and try to carry it around like they're saying because this is gonna fall apart. But when I last year when I cleaned my garage, it was fantastic as a catch-all for throwing trash in and then I just took the whole thing out to the curb on trash day. Also what I'm gonna use this one for very specifically is um, I have some pots, some plastic different pots out there that are just kind of scattered about. I'm gonna wash them all up this year and store them in this bag on a shelf. And that way I'll know where all my potting supplies are together. I also put like my shears and my gloves and the things I use for my plants in this. So I live in a condo and I don't do yard work. Um, I do have some plants that I will put out and I put some on my patio, but I don't have a ton of like yard gardening stuff that I have to do. So this would be perfect for that. Long-term storage, just stick it on a shelf, right? I found this, which I find extremely fascinating and can't wait to try it. It's Easter grass, guys, but it's attached. Do you see that? You pull it from the center, you give it a good juice, and you put it in a basket and it all stays together. So you're not getting little bits of grass everywhere and it's tissue paper. So hopefully when I'm ready to do Sarah's basket, I will show you how this works. I'm excited to try that. That's something new I've never seen before. Um, speaking of something new I've never seen, look at this. Again, I feel like this could be very boho or it could be very modern depending on what you did with it. They're wall stickers, but they're literally just gold circles. And look, they just put it on a wall. So I grabbed two, because I think these are going on my wall in my craft room, over where I do my um, crafting. So I could use it as like a backdrop. And you get a ton of them. You On each card, you get 24. So for $2, I have 48 of these. And I'm sure they'll stick. Kind of excited. I don't know, I found it very unique. And these are just Main Street Wall creation jumbo stickers so i grabbed those um i picked up i found two more of the gloves the pink these pink ones and then the red polka dots honestly I, it, it doesn't matter to me what's down here i like the size and i like the cuff protection you know that you can stick your arm in there and this will, and it's actually a little soft on the inside, but this will cover your arm. And if you have long sleeves on, it covers your sleeves. And they are a little bigger. And this is Brillo Basics. So I grabbed two because they're very hard to find. And I'm using one pair now, so I'll have two backups to get me through until, you know, these will last me several months. But when I clean my grill and start doing outdoor stuff, I tend to use these things as well. And that's a, on my list of, if I see it, grab it. If I, you know, think I'm gonna need it. I found a little pink gnome. So I have the teal and I have the pink and they're gonna go in different places. This one might go behind me with the Easter bunny or my mantle. I'm not sure yet. Or I have another place. I'm just starting to pull my Easter stuff out. 
and spring, if you can see behind me, but I think this is adorable. I saw the green too, but I didn't really care for the green, but I really do enjoy the pink. So I grabbed that. It's, this is like a bizarre texture, but it doesn't matter. I also found a unit. She just scared me. She's literally barking at her own toys. Oh, no, she's barking at Alex. Um, this little unicorn pen. Oh my gosh, I love it, guys. And it's just the softest fur. I have no idea what it writes like. I don't know if I'm even going to write with it. It makes me happy to look at it. <laughs> right? It's a unicorn. And it's a pen. It's interesting. So I like that. I grabbed it. I don't buy a lot of the novelty type pens, but I just thought that was sweet. I picked up two different lights to try. The, this is like an, to me, this is like an itty bitty book light. Cause guys, my eyes and to read, I just actually got new prescriptions. I'm waiting for my new glasses to come in and sunglasses. I'll show you when I get them, but we're going to try this one. So what I enjoy about this, it's pretty lightweight. It'll hook on the back of my book that I'm reading and then you can adjust and it comes with the batteries. Does it work? Yeah. I mean, I don't feel like that is too terribly bad. I mean, is it super bright that I'm going to be like, Hey, I can read in the dark. No, but is it enough to help out? Yes. And that's what I need with my vision. I need that extra bit of light to read if I want to be in bed and read and not have the overhead light. So I thought this would be good for that. So I grabbed this one for sure to use as that. But then I saw this one and thought, well, maybe it's a little brighter because this is saying it's a hundred lumens. And this one I don't think said. It didn't say how many lumens, but this one says it's a hundred lumens. It's just a little bigger of a book light. Now this one is not going to um, clip on my book, but isn't that sweet? I wonder if I, yep, the screw's not in here. So I also got some Co um, Kodak batteries, which that's a brand, you know, I don't know how long they're good for. When I get name brand batteries at the Dollar Tree, I try to use them sooner rather than sit on them. Um, just because I don't know, you know, how long are they going to be good for? So this takes three AA batteries and let's see, oh, no, yeah, three. It doesn't tell me what goes where, does it? Yes, the plus. There, and we'll go this way. Oh, that is bright, guys. I like this. This would be a neat little task light. Definitely, definitely brighter than the book light. Definitely. Hi. <laughs> I could use that. I mean, honestly, there's no clamp on the back, but it's small enough that I could just hold it really over my book or hold it with my book or a task sitting on my desk. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. For $1, that's a good light. We'll keep that. I mean, I'm keeping them both, but I'm surprised at how well that works. And then I'll put my extra battery. Am I the only person who has a little Tupperware full of batteries? I have a, I got it years ago with the Target, at Target in the Christmas section. And it's just a little Tupperware with a lid. And I keep my rechargeables in there and all my batteries. So I know exactly where they're at. I picked up one more of these because I love it. It's fantastic and I love the size, the portability of this. And then once I get moving on my bike, I'm gonna need it. So I grabbed another one of those. I picked up these because I like them big. I like them chunky, chunky. <laughs> I think they're adorable, little hippos. I don't buy a lot of stickers because I have a lot of stickers, but I needed the hippopotamuses. Hippopotami, hippopotamuses. I want one for Christmas. I'm kidding. Guys, I'm losing it. Um, I picked up a little tiny first aid kit for one specific reason. It's just covered in plastic. I've got plenty of first aid supplies, but um, 
I can't get it open. I'm trying to open this to show you. This is different and it has um, scissors in it, which I think are interesting. So you get a little pair of scissors. I'm not sure what's that, what that's gonna cut. I mean, okay, call me, it cuts. I really wanted this for my car. A little diaper safety pin and then little extra safety pins, which I will probably put in one of the girls containers. It has this knife. And if you ever do like backpacking or outdoor activities, like if I go backpacking, you need a knife and a little pair of scissors to like open things. But this has a nail file. It has a little screwdriver head and a knife. And now again, with like how sharp it is, I don't know, but it would come in in a pinch and it's very lightweight. And I do plan on doing some backpacking this summer. So I thought that would be perfect for that. I mean, there's no weight to it. A couple Q-tips, um, tweezers, which we always need in the car, you know, chin hair and two band-aids. And I thought this is going to be perfect just to throw in my console of my car to have when I'm out and about. And it's very compact and it really has everything I would need if I had any type of, um, I'm trying to take the tag off the top, any type of, an, I don't even say emergency, but how many times do, are you in the car and you're like, oh, I need scissors to open this or paper cuts or whatever. Do I have a Q-tip? I just think this is going to be perfect in my console of my car. So I grabbed that. So I'm gonna clean out my car and I thought that would be perfect to keep in there. And the last two things, I did find one more of this sign. I want to redo it for summer. It'll go in my tray. It's the perfect size for my tray because it's kind of big, but I wanna make like a, a different sign in the background. So I only purchased one. I have other ones that I have done DIYs with, but I think I'm gonna put like a wreath in here and do like welcome, make it almost look like a front door and put it in my tiered tray, super easy. And then the last thing I picked up were these um, modest basics, alcohol-free disposable washcloths enriched with chamomile and aloe vera and they're large. And when I am out on my bike, I typically ride, do I just get a smell? Maybe, they have a little fragrance to them. Um, so when I'm out, I typically drive to a trailhead to ride my bike. So it's not like I'm taking off from my house and I'm ending at my house. And so I love to have things like this handy to wipe my face. You know, if I get mud on my feet, legs before I get in the car, just freshen up on the road before I come home because it, I can get really warm and sweaty riding my bike. And I thought this is perfect. And I will probably put it inside of a zip top bag just to make sure it doesn't dry out when it gets summertime. However, fun fact, if something like this in your car, if you have wipes or anything and they dry out, you can just add water and it refreshes them. Um, whatever cleaning solution the towels were impregnated with, in this case, it looks like chamomile and vitamin E. It's still in there, it just dry, so you add water. You can even put water in this bag and like swish it around. But fun fact, backpackers like, or people who live in their car or, you know, travel a lot, you dry them out on purpose, put them in a small baggie and then at the airport or wherever, you can just wet them and freshen up. Guys, I need to go on vacation. Have you noticed that I'm, I'm yearning to go somewhere? We'll get to go soon. We'll get to go soon, guys. Let's hold up, but we'll get to go soon. All right, I am done with my haul. I hope you enjoyed this little multi-store haul. I'm hoping next week that Target will have some, or Target, that the Dollar Tree will have some newer items in for me to show you. But for now, have a good one, and I will talk with you later.